Sauce on me. Sauce on me. I got drip. I got woo. Flood the wrist. It's homage to the. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl and me. How y'all doing? Oh, whatever. How y'all doing? Oh, whatever. Hey, 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 hey. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl and me from any budgets. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button because, Bubby, this is what, day five of 25 days of Christmas, and we're getting all up in my business. Because on here we do cash stuff in, budgeting, paying off our debts, and mind our business, and not necessarily in that order. Okay? So, um, if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. If you're an only book goodie, welcome back to the channel, baby. Welcome back. And if you got any comments, leave your two cents down below in the comment box because your two cents are my 98 cents. Make a dollar, and we can do a whole lot with a dollar. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So in today's video, we're doing a get to know me, and it's not like you're gonna get to know me because I had the 25 questions, but the best friend behind the camera left them at her house, and <laughs> that's Erica behind the camera. So it is gonna be a free flowing conversation, is um, what I'm guessing, um, and she's just gonna ask me some questions, and then basically we will see where we go from there. So. Um, without further ado, we're going to give the creative process to the best friend behind the camera, Erica. Okay, real quick, you can edit this out, but I just see my fingers, they fat. We got to lose, <laughs> we got to lose weight. <laughs> we got to lose weight. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh. Yeah, girl. And they say camera adds five, what, 10 pounds, five, 10 pounds, Yeah. Well, I will say this. You look cute. Thanks. You gorgeous, beautiful, all of those. Okay, so the first question that I'll ask that'll kind of set the tone because all of this is off the, the dome. dome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't write none of this down. The, the bars? Bars. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to set the tone like that. Okay, so the first question that I'll ask to set the tone for my subsequent questions is, why did you choose to do this format to kick this off? Well, not kick this off because it's day five, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um get to know me yeah uh so i planned it out and i decided to do a get to know me because y'all be just seeing my hands <laughs> and so you see her with nails on with nails off and y'all see about my money so y'all real intimate to be real intimate with the use of tubes but i figured you know when you see someone and especially if you watch them often like you feel connected with them and i was like you know what let me just tell these people a little bit more about me. So I was like, yeah, I thought this would be a get, this would be a good, um, I need to stop saying, um, oh, I thought Focus. this would be a good thing to connect more. I think that's why I decided. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So given the desired connection that you have, that you want to have with the people who you interact with on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Why YouTube? Well, how did you get into YouTubery? YouTube is easy. <laughs> I, which is crazy. I've been on YouTube since 2013, 2012, because I had a hair channel. I had a hair channel. And then I changed it into a makeup channel, and then I was like, mm -mm, we good. Um, we still have some videos right now. And so I always liked YouTube, and I always liked the video and people making YouTube videos. And so this isn't a foreign concept to me to be like, oh, I want to be on YouTube, or I like what's on YouTube right now. So I was like, oh, this is my main platform for watching stuff anyways. So I was like, why not YouTube? I'm not an Instagram girl because I'm not posting pictures all the time. I just don't like pictures like that. And I'm not a Snapchat girl because, again, don't be posting pictures or be outside like that. I like being in my house. <laughs> and so YouTube affords you to be in your house and still be able to be like outside at the same time. Because you still have connections outside of your house, but you got to be outside of your house. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. It makes sense. Next question is kind of deep. Ooh. You ready? No. Okay, close your eyes while I ask it. Okay. Who are you and why should people trust you? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. 
Close your mouth too. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, who am I? It don't have to be nothing deep or philosophical, but in the space of, like, you know, people do social media. Mm -hmm. I know you to be trustworthy mm -hmm. because I trust you. But people, why your face like that? Because, side note, <laughs> if you don't know, the way how my voice be sounding in personality is how my face be looking in real life. Facts. So. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yes, okay. So I'm listening, okay. I don't know what I was <laughs> Okay. The reason why I ask that question is because social media is a place where it's mm -hmm. easy for people to not be truthful. Mm -hmm. Um. The subject of your YouTube channel is budgeting money, mm -hmm. something that's really personal. Personal. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I ask who are you and why should people trust you um, because of the personal, um, the personal parts of the topic that your YouTube channel is. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you <laughs> say this. <laughs> I'm just gonna listen. <laughs> you gonna see this money, you gonna see this credit card increase, you gonna hear I'ma eat, cause I'ma eat, and I'ma overspend in my grocery sometime. And that's just gonna be real. That's, that's just all I got to give. And so, this journey is, is, this is my second time doing my budgeting journey to debt free freedom. But I'm doing it now from a space that has less income and um more availability that can go because the first time i did this i was in korea so anybody who was here when i was doing this in korea hello um but i was doing it in korea but i was in one i don't know the language all like that but i was eating the food so i still was eating my grocery budget was still <laughs> awkward <laughs> bruh <laughs> just to know we had switched up i'm just saying um but it was definitely more restrictive in Korea because of the language barrier, but now in America, like, girl has freedom to make new decisions to, hey, I'm gonna leave and go here, I'm gonna leave and go there and do stuff, so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna just tell you my business, really. That's why I say I be cashed up in, budgeting, um, paying off debt and minding my business, because that's really what I'm trying to do. I have a problem minding my business, which is, um, paying attention to my finances and budgeting. And so really, when I say mind my business, it's for us to mind my business and for me to look where my money's going and you to see it when I post this video. So that's really it. I'm gonna tell you my business. But you ain't never said who you is though. So. But we're oh, gonna, we gonna let I? that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, we can let it slide. I don't know how to describe it. I just, I think I'm just trying to figure out. That's who I am. And in the process of figuring it out, I'm hoping that someone else helps me too. That's why I be like, leave your two cents in the comments because baby, I need them. Um, my journey is just on the internet, on YouTube. That's mm -hmm. the only difference between us. So. What do you mean by that? Everybody, let's not say everybody, um, a lot of people who are doing budgeting are trying to figure it out. Because a lot of us are trying to figure it are out. Are trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so some people, this is very, very personal. Man, you know how much is in my bank account, how much money I have on me, please. And so a lot of people won't post this because it's very sacred and I understand. Cause it took me six months, a year. I was thinking about posting on YouTube for finance specifically because I was in Korea and yeah, six months specifically because I went to Korea, yep, in July. And then I think I posted my first video for budgeting in February of 2020. 2020. Yeah, in 2020. And so, so I'm something like that. But, are some of more, I don't remember. No, I posted in 2019 because I just come back. Um, to America and I just started my reading financial stuff. So in 2019 I posted my video, but for a while I done hair and makeup before. And so I was like, mm, do I really want to be posting about my like struggles with finance? Like telling people that I'm like broke rich, like, cause that's a real thing. When you credit card spending, 
but she was living like you rich, like you broke rich, like because <laughs> you owe somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people won't post that on YouTube, mm -hmm. and it's just you just see my version, sweetie. Like you just see my budget because mm -hmm. I decided to post it on YouTube. But we all who's learning how to budget and manage our money, we all going through the struggle together. So. I've been really asking for advice. <laughs> I ain't just saying it to say. <laughs> true, true. So, another question. Close your eyes. Oh. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay. How do you compare the way that you operate in the YouTube universe to your life outside of the YouTube universe? <laughs> Mind y'all, we ain't talk about this stuff before. Okay, this is. There is a sense of trust in my YouTube life um, that is only allowed in certain parts of my real life life. And so I enjoy sharing my budget struggles. So I would tell y'all how to be listening. Your girl spend this money and mostly on food that's what we get at me but my youtube life i have so many people so many people but i also have and it's just a personal thing um making stronger connections with people and so there's some great people on youtube that you know i watch their content all the time and i see it all the time but i just don't be and I don't be like saying, hey girl, hey. I be like, oh, they said hi to me first. Oh, hi. I respond. And I'm like, then I'm like an extroverted, hi, how you doing? But mm, I'm not that way in real life too. But for now, the trust that I have in YouTube is easier and I freely give it, if that makes sense. Makes sense. In YouTube more than I give in real life. Because it's safer in a sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Because there's still, there's a protection with the screen. So, mm -hmm. but they could, I understand that perspective. Um, they can also be dangerous, especially mm -hmm. in today's world. Mm -hmm. That's why I be going through your comments, looking, seeing who, who comment, because I be protecting you, because mm -hmm. I got your back. Yeah. Period. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So you mentioned the word trust, mm -hmm. right? How do you, um, just in general, it doesn't have to be, it could be you, Anique, or it can be Anique Budgets, right? Mm -hmm. How do you establish boundaries considering the way that you establish and display trust? I'm open. Okay. We all, no, let's not say we all, but I have um, some traumatic experience so working through that but separate and beside that like I <clears throat> understand that individuals are individuals and so there's a first line of trust that I'm going to give um <clears throat> what was the question again? I don't know this is off the dome okay. oh no no I got it I got it um <laughs> what's the relationship between boundaries and trust to give in the way that you display trust or establish trust in the boundaries and trust. Yeah, yeah. And the YouTube. correlation in general. That's okay. that's what that's the one. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not specific to YouTube, or it could be, or it could be just in general. However, um, you hear the question. Boundaries and trust. So I am recently understanding what boundaries are. Let me say that. Because <clears throat> trust is freely given initially, right? Mm -hmm. There's, I don't know you, you don't know me. There's no reason for me to give you this blanket slate, slate of trust. Like, you got a big dog. The only thing you can do is mess it up. Um, so with that, understanding, I'm, I'm trying to understand more of what Anique likes, what, what Anique doesn't like. And then from those two things, then I can set my boundaries. Mm -hmm. But I'm not too picky or particular. So a lot of things don't bother me. And I only have to set a boundary 
when it's necessary, I would say. Because I honestly, like, okay. <laughs> two plus two equals four, okay. Um, you say one plus three equals four, okay. Like, they both equal four, let's move forward. Like, mm -hmm. there's, you know, so I think that's what it is for me. I, I understand what the boundaries are. And then I should start making them if I feel uncomfortable in some ways or in any way at all. But majority of the time, I don't put myself in an uncomfortable situation to where there's now a need for boundaries. The only way boundaries are set, which is not off of a mutual respect situation, is if you do something, you do something and create it. So for me, that's how trust is now. To move past the first layer of trust, then those are conversations and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the first layer of trust is just there. I think um, in all the ways that we are opposite mm -hmm. of each other, <laughs> that's one. Um, because I, I kind of have like, I understand what you're saying because I've seen it like in operation. Mm -hmm. But I just have a different philosophy. For me, boundaries are in place before, you know. Trust. For me, mm -hmm. right? Because boundaries are protectional. Mm -hmm. And so, I think it works out that... I, one thing that I love about you is that you're so open and free-flowing. But that also scares me too. <laughs> which <laughs> which kind of works out in your favor. <laughs> because I always... You know, you always safe with me, but that's just because we just operate so mm -hmm. differently. So I think that's one that I think that's um, cool. All right, you ready for the next question? Oh my God, this is a close your eyes? It could be. All right. It depends on how much introspection you do in your free time. Oh, okay. Okay. Name three of your best qualities. Bruh. <laughs> mind your business and I was like what I expected today was girl what's your favorite food <laughs> don't nobody care about that <laughs> um <laughs> three of my best qualities I was the one that just said that I give an open lay of trust to everyone um you can only work it if you work it like it's it's just there um I think for me, um, I, let me, add, what are the qualities? Cause to me, so the things that I love is especially with our relationship and how the things that I realize that I am, I love to take care in the sense of taking care. Like I'm a, um acts of service person mm -hmm. i enjoy doing those things for people like i'm not buying you stuff i spend time with you but like i get fulfillment from taking care of mm -hmm. and so that's why i'd be like oh i'll just be doing random stuff like especially with us i'd be like hey you want to, um, let me do your pedicure. <laughs> then today I was like, oh, let me do your eyebrows. What you still got to do, I didn't forget. Yeah, I'm still going to do them. Okay. And then, you know, and then it's like, oh, I moved your hair. And I was like, okay, girl. Like, those things that I, I like enjoy doing them because it's just taking care of a person. I don't, so I'm not like a gift giver. Right? I'm horrible. I give and gifts unless I'm like with you with you and know you that. like you I know but I'm horrible at giving gifts but I think that's um my second quality and then what's my third one mm. Mm. I don't know what's the third one for me I think I'm still in my discovery mode of who I am which at 28 like like i have some stuff but i i think i'm mostly in this self-discovery because 
I am such a inside my house introvert, but like if I'm go if I'm outside then I'm outside. Like I'm extroverted. But I'm still trying to figure out what those are, which is the same thing as trying to figure out what it means for my womanhood. That's who Anique is as a woman. Mm -hmm. Like separate and apart from everything else. Mm -hmm. So I think um I'll, I'm figuring out my third. But I know my first one is the blanket trust that I provide to everyone, unless you give me a reason not to. And then my second one is to just I like to care for mm -hmm. other people. I think, okay, then tell me what you think about this. Mm -hmm. So this isn't, you know, <laughs> it's a statement, but we're going to turn it into an interrogative because you're going to tell me what you think about it. Okay. I think one of the the your greatest qualities is that you have a comforting presence um it's like you're a safe space do you see that quality in yourself i think for me i don't think so mm -hmm. and the reason i don't think so is because i find comforting spaces to be with people who you have connections with mm -hmm. And so because I don't have a connection with a lot of people, I don't find myself as a comforting space, if that makes sense. Because the person, um, to me, connection and comforting space both go hand in hand. And I can talk to people, I can be like, oh, I can see that, that makes sense. Oh, that's good. Um, but again, because I don't know how to make a lot of connections with people. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I can need the comfort that they need. Because to me, if I'm being a comforting space, I want you to be able to drop, like dead drop. You know, your body just feel safe in whatever is happening. If there's a trust fall, I need you to trust fall. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have your back. And so there's not a lot of people that I'm like that with. And so I can't say that I'm a comforting space for everyone. For you, 100%. Because of our relationship. And I'm like, what a period. I'm a, mm, over you. But that's because of the connection we've built. And now ride or die. Right? But that's not something that... I openly or at first interaction give to someone. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so as is customary when we have conversations like this, mm -hmm. I'll offer you this challenge. Think about the difference or the fact that the way that you interact with people or experience people might not be how they experience you. So just think about how many people come to you with all of their crap. Or whatever it is, joys, good things. Because I know even though we work on the other side, you know, we don't work together closely anymore. I'll be running over to your office and be like, oh girl, <laughs> I just did this, this, and this. And nobody actually cares, but you're a safe space. Or um, people who just come to you and tell you stuff, you just be like, okay. <laughs> like, trademark of a safe space. And so, I think you, it'd be worth it um, in your mode, like space of self-discovery mm -hmm. to kind of think about, think about that. It's almost like how people be, people know who, who I am and I don't know you. Or you just be out somewhere and people are like, oh, Anik, can you just be like, oh, hey girl, but I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, people have like, um, it's possible for people to experience you differently mm -hmm. than how you experience them. Mm -hmm. It makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Now let's go with the opposite. Mm -hmm. Three of the things that are not so much your best qualities. No. I'm unorganized. Like in some ways I am. A certain part of oh, I'm fifty fifty in my organization of my life. I'm like I'm, I'm unorganized. Um I think that's one. I think two um, is the connection. Um, I would like to make more connections with people. Um, yeah, I just, after the first layer of trust, 
just get into that second and third layer. But once you're in second and third, like, baby, you, we locked in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, and then my third. Is that I can't throw down a Thanksgiving meal? Cause baby, please. Bruh, <laughs> what do you mean? I, there is. You talking about American black food? Yes, there is. There, I got to. I still haven't, I still never made mac and cheese. First of all, don't call it mac and cheese. Black people don't eat mac and cheese. We eat macaroni and cheese. Macaroni, okay. I still haven't made it. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um. I'm working on other things, mm-hmm. but um, why do you find that? Why do you find that to be important? Because it's the caring for people part, mm-hmm. and so because it's the caring for people part, mm-hmm. I find it important because <laughs> happiness around a good meal always a match. It's on my, <laughs> you know, it's lit. So yeah, mm-hmm. I enjoy that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Let me see. What are three goals that you have? If you had one month to achieve three goals, because you, I mean, you know, what would they be based off of what your life is now? Um. First one is to solidify like my full direction of exactly what my life is, what I'm exactly doing. Cause sometimes, sometimes I feel, um, even in my career that I'm just doing it, but if I could find my like full on purpose that I like completely love, that would be a goal. Um, I enjoy, like I was telling you, I, I enjoy being a supporter. I enjoy being the one that you like, hey, do this, 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 and this, and get it done, and then it's, you know, helping to see your vision. I enjoy being a supporter. So I feel like at some point, like something like that will be my goal. And so if I could find that purpose, that really is the conviction of my life that makes me love the existence of my life more, and give my life meaning every single day to me, then that would be like my first one. Sub question. Mm-hmm. Would you be shocked to discover that you're actually a leader? <laughs> I ain't gonna say why I asked that question. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. But given where you are comfortable with operating, would you be shocked to find that you're actually a leader? Yeah. Um, leaders to me, I think when I think about leadership, most of the times I think on the biggest scale, because I understand right now I'm in a leader position, but I think to me, it's the bigger scale leadership. Um, like in every company, you have the supervisors, you have the managers, you have the, um, section managers. You have the corporate managers, and then you have the CEO, CEO, you know, CFO, CS, CEOs, all those people. Um, and to me, the leader on the biggest scale starts at like the um, like what is like the department manager, something like that, like the whole department. Manager, or if you're thinking the store, so it's like a store manager, the overall for the entire thing. He's not up in corporate, but he's at a store. Like that's what it is to me. And so, for me, being in my current position, I'm a supporter of the department manager. And I, that while I'm a leader, sometimes I don't think that that makes me a leader. In my eyes, I just know that I am the one helping the people at the bottom get to their next level. That's what a leader does. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just Go on to your next thing. We'll talk saying. about that one later. 
Um, Pride of the month for my goals. Yeah, you said one. What's two? Slip is one, which is just to pay off my consumer debt. My pay off my car and my credit card. Um, which, and step one to that also is that I would love to fine tune my budget for that to work continuously, for me to not go back to um, that, where I was in consumer debt. Like, my mortgage just makes sense because I'm building equity, so I'm, I'm not, you know, mm -hmm. if we was doing crazy unrealistic, then I would love for all my debt to be paid off. But if we are in a month or in a year or whatever, it's to pay off my consumer debt and then continue to not accumulate consumer debt. Because I think, yeah, <laughs> with my first debt freedom, which was in Korea, and the restrictions that allowed me not to spend as much, I was fine there. But in a space where I can do whatever I the want. The world is yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm relearning what it means to budget and budget from that person. That discipline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's number two. And then... Number three for me is to start the, or figure out me more. As a woman? As a woman. Oh, it's going to be a great talk on the car wire yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. So I think those would be my three. And my third would be figure out me as a woman. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What do you enjoy to do? What, you know? What makes you tick? Um, what experiences molded you? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my three goals. Two more questions. Mm -hmm. What is love? To me? Yeah. <laughs> Not y'all. <yeah. laughs> um, love? To me, is deciding no matter what this person does, they're your person. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, nothing at all can change that for being your person. Thick and thin, like, that's who you go to for advice. That's who you go to when you're happy. That's who you go to when you're sad. That's who you go to just because you find five dollars or a dollar or ten cents on the ground. Like you, mm -hmm. the little things, the completely smallest thing. Oh, I forget it this morning. I just want you to know that. That's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> that to me is the um, the complete. Existence of someone else, or existence of something that it don't matter how little or how big, it's important and significant. Mm -hmm. That was deep. I feel like you should cut that part out and it should no keep it in here right but in my mind when you was talking about it I see it in like black and white yeah like yes oh and black and white but in like a cinematic um thing where it's like kind of like you know yeah and there's like some like piano music or a violin maybe or maybe like a slow saxophone in the back or a trumpet oh oh Cut this clip out and let me play with it. <laughs> I'm not playing. Okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. Final question. Ooh. I heard this question asked by a special someone earlier. Ooh. Are you happy? <laughs> um, I think I'm content. I don't think I'm fully happy. Um, a part of me, a part of me, 
um, wants to find my complete tribe, as in my friends, my family, um, loved ones, children, building a connection with them does it the best for connection. Mm. And I think because I know that that's probably one of my life goals is to create those better relationships. I am content. But I would love to be happy. And there's a joy that comes from that kind of love and happiness that I want. So um yeah, I think I'm content. I think my life is going, and that's the thing, I think my life is going in the direction that it's supposed to go in, and there's nothing wrong with my life. Mm -hmm. um, but those little parts that you can fix and tweak, I think that's what would make my, me happy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm recognizing those and slowly working on them. Mm -hmm. But that would what would make me the happiest. Mm -hmm. is those connections and those things that I value and especially those people that I value to make those tweaks. Mm -hmm. That was deep. <laughs> okay, one more question. Let's end it on a on the same note that we started it. Okay. Because I can go down this road for a long time. Mm -hmm. One thing, one message, one thing I already kind of said that the first time. That you want people who watch your videos to walk away knowing and understanding. Go. Mm. All I thought about was perfection is unreal. It's not. It's, it's not a real thing. It's a goal, but it's not an achievable goal. Um, I'm not. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to figure this out, just like you. But every time I see dollar moves, <laughs> I'm like, oh girl, we're doing something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not right every month, it's not right every time, but the goalpost is being moved. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we on the journey together, we gonna learn together, and we gonna do this together. So, uh, I think that's what I would like people to take away from mm -hmm. this. I'm not here to tell you how to handle your money I'm just showing you how I'm trying to do mine and if we can do it together and figure it out and help each other out and you know mm -hmm. get all our stuff in line I'm all for it mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know that's what I think I would like people to take away like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm figuring out just like you mm -hmm. no I'm not an expert I know that much mm -hmm. I'm still trying to learn more money information because I also recognize in doing my budget that I also need to read more on financial lit read more financial literacy mm -hmm. to be better with handling money and the steps to go after you know after the credit card mm -hmm. after the car payment after after the consumer debt like what was next what's yeah. next because mm -hmm. at some point the consumer debt ends the credit the, um, and then your emergency fund gets stopped, like, and then what happens after How do you that? grow your money? Yeah, once how do you, you grow after that? Yeah. We all want the next egg of that safety pot once, you know, you're out of consumer debt. But what comes after that? Mm -hmm. Your retirement, you know? Your children's education, their fund. What do you want to leave to them? Are you trying to leave them in debt? Like, are you trying to pay for their college and trying to do a house. Like I think about all these stuff. Mm -hmm. And so That's yeah. dope. That's dope. What happens after consumer debt? You didn't go to school with true paper. I didn't go to school with true paper. <laughs> <laughs> That was dope. Well, yeah. I don't I don't think I have any other questions, but I will say I appreciate your vulnerability and I appreciate your opportunity. The opportunity, <laughs> you know, of letting me be a part of your empire. You know. Oh my god. Would let me play Gail King and doing this right interview. Over here. You can I, be in front of the camera soon. But that's not right now. No, not true. That's not right now. Right now I'm Gail King. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't know who else she interviewed outside of R. Kelly, and I don't want you, <laughs> I don't want you, but I know she be doing interviews, I know she good at it. <laughs>
Um, let, let's just say I'm Oprah because I know who else she interviewed. Oh. Okay, thanks for letting me be Oprah. Okay, girl. You know, <laughs> you the bomb, you dope. I love you and I appreciate you. And floor is yours again, Jack. No, look at that. Okay. <laughs> well, since <laughs> she got no more questions, y'all. That's it for the video. I hope y'all got to know me. I thought it was a regular get to know me, y'all. This is not it. Um, <laughs> it was a big question. I thought it was just, what's one plus one? Two, what do you like? Green? No. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is day five of 25 days of Christmas. So, if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video because one's coming again tomorrow and watch the last four. Um, leave your two cents down below in the comment box. Basically, what do you think <laughs> about me and leave a snowflake? Instead of that, leave a snowflake oh, that's if you got to the end of this video. And that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a family, friend, or a foe because even your enemies be listening. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching and bye! I won't get it, I'm out that, huh? out of my mind, can't even talk, can't even walk, bad little thing, but she ain't